In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to format an SD card on a Chromebook if you have an SD card and you need to change its format. Timmy already has a full video about how you can connect an SD card to your Chromebook and use it normally. So if you're not familiar with how to do that, how to put it into your Chromebook or connect it with an adapter and use it, you might want to watch that video first. But this video is about actually formatting an SD card. So you will obviously need to connect your SD card to the Chromebook first. So go ahead and insert that SD card into either the Chromebook directly or into some kind of adapter that's connected to the Chromebook. And then you'll probably get a notification here that says removable device detected. And you'll need to open up the files app and find your SD card somewhere in this left hand menu here. The name might be something different, but it'll be whatever your SD card is named. But now when you format your SD card, it will completely permanently delete all the files on it and wipe it completely empty. So if you have any files on it right now that you want to keep, you need to make sure you copy them somewhere else first. So you could do this on a different computer first if you wanted to, or you can do it right here. If you don't care about these files, you can just ignore them. But if you want to keep these files, you want to press Control A on your keyboard to select all the files like this. And then maybe just drag and drop them into your downloads or something, wherever else you want on your Chromebook. And just wait for them all to copy across like this. You'll see the progress down here. And now that's complete. So now when we format the SD card and all of these are deleted here, it's okay because we still have backups in the downloads folder. But now once you've backed up your files and you're ready to actually go ahead and format your SD card, you'll need to make sure you click on the SD card here so you can see anything that's inside it. And then you'll need to come up to the top right hand corner of the files app here and click the three dots here. And then in this menu that appears, come down and click format device here. And now you'll basically just have the menu where you can format your device. So it warns you that however many gigabytes or megabytes of files will be deleted, but that's okay because we've already copied them somewhere else. And now we can give it a name. So this is really just the name that will show here. It doesn't really matter what you name it, but it kind of needs a name. So just go ahead and type anything. You can be really boring and just type SD card or something if you want, or you could name it something more specific to what you're using it for something if you want to. But now down here below that is where you can choose the format for the SD card. So on a Chromebook, you basically have three different options to choose from. You can choose FAT32, XFAT, or NTFS. If you're formatting your SD card for a specific reason, you might have a specific format that you need to format it to. And if you do, you can just choose the option here. But generally, if you don't have a specific format you need to use, Timu would probably recommend XFAT. It's quite similar to FAT32, but FAT32 doesn't allow individual files to be more than four gigabytes in size. So if you have reasonably long videos or other large files, you can run into issues with FAT32. So if there's any chance you're going to have reasonably large files on this SD card, you want to go with XFAT, not FAT32. NTFS is actually in some ways better, but there are quite a lot of devices out there that don't support NTFS and then wouldn't work with this, this SD card if it was using NTFS. So it's probably better to use FAT32 or XFAT if you can. But ultimately, it's really up to you. You can choose whichever one you want to. Timmy's going to go with XFAT here. And then once you're happy with that selection, all you really need to do is go ahead and click Erase and Format. And now the SD card will disappear and it'll pop up in the corner and say formatting. And now, as you can see here, it said it is formatted. So now you might have to pull the SD card out and plug it back in, but it should reappear here once it's done. And as you can see, it's now showing with the new name. 
And if we click on it here to view everything inside it, there is actually nothing inside it because we've formatted it so it's all wiped and empty. And it is now formatted in the format we chose. So now you can go and get the files that were on it and copy them back to the SD card if you want to put those files back on it. Or you can put any other files on it or take it out and put it into a different device if that's what you wanted to do. You can really go ahead and do whatever you wanted to do with it. But now you have successfully formatted your SD card. So hopefully you found this video helpful and we'll see you in another one in the future.